Hello, uh, good morning. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Again, uh, this is Mr. Santos Capellan Jr. Always wishing you a good day. Uh, now, today, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start my recirculating air handling unit uh, system to be connected to my live uh, BMS system. Okay, now this is my BMS system. Now I'm in the engineering of a uh, uh, system like this air handling unit. Okay, so I am doing the engineering works for an air handling unit. Okay, as a BMS engineer, this is one of your scopes to do the engineering of a uh, certain equipment. Okay, now first, uh, as I said, uh, you need to prepare your uh, graphics for the equipment that you are going to control and monitor in your building management system. Now, this time I have my simple. Uh, recirculating air handling unit uh, uh, graphics. Okay. Now, uh, in my previous tutorials, I already tried to explain the how I did or how I prepared these graphics. Okay. Now, in this uh, tutorial, uh, I can say this will be my part one. How I am going to bind the objects. Okay, now these graphics are object oriented. Okay, so I have several objects here. As you can see, I have so many objects in my graphics. Now, but we will concentrate in the physical points of my supply and return fund. Okay, supply and return fund. Now, what are the physical points? I have here the hand of auto, trip, and the run status, and the command. Okay, this is my return fund command, supply fund command. Okay. Now, uh, as you can see here, I have a picture of an air handling unit. Okay, so here I have the supply fan as depicted by this uh, fan in my graphics. Then I have the return fan as shown by my graphics here. Okay, now this motor control. Okay, if you are watching my tutorial, I, I already explained how are you going to connect a simple motor control to your building management system. Now, the same. Uh, simple motor control, I will be using to control the supply and return fund. Okay, so I have here two small funds. Let's say this one is for my supply fund and this one for my return fund. Now, I, as you can see here, I have some pilot lamp in my control panel, then the selector switch. Okay, now the selector switch will uh, tell our air running unit if it is in auto or in a manual or off position. Now, the important thing in a motor control is the selector switch because as I said, the BMS will take the control if the equipment is in automatic, okay? So my first task today is to show you how I'm going to bind these objects, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six objects into my uh, IO modules, okay? As you know, the IO modules, these are the modules where you will define the points in your motor control. So what are the points like hand of auto status, run, and trip? So first, you have to define it here. Now, in my previous tutorial, I already defined this point. So let me open it in a new window. Then I will edit it in the spreadsheet to show you the points defined before. Now here, I have here around nine points defined. Okay, now fan one hand of auto status, I use this in my simple motor control. Uh, video tutorial. Now, this time I'm going to use fan one for my supply fan. Okay. Then fan two for my return fan. I don't think I need to uh, rename the, uh, the points. Okay. Because uh, as I said, fan one will be for our supply fan and fan two will be our return fan. Okay. Now, let me go back to my graphics. Okay. So this is fan one and this is fan two. Supply fund, return fund. Okay, now let's start doing the binding. Okay, because as you can see here, the points are not yet binded. If the mouse pointer changes to a pointing finger, meaning the point or the object is already binded to the uh, physical point where it will fall or get the real time values. Okay, now, okay, now since I defined this already, now let me try to do the bindings, the actual bindings. Okay, so you will go to edit bindings. Okay, now this is my edit binding window. Okay, now in the edit binding window, it will display all the object points. Okay, all the object points. I have so many points 
as you can see here in the graphics, I have so many points here, okay? So one by one, uh, during the creation of the graphics, I am uh, defining these points, okay? Now, our concern for this tutorial, first part, is to bind these physical points of the funds. Okay, now let's look for these physical points. So in my graphics creation, I have used some uh, object name. Okay, now first, let me, okay, here, uh, return fund, this is RF, return fund, uh, start stop command and supply fund, start stop command. Okay, so I will bind this to my, so I will go here in my right uh, window. So go up directory, then you go to IO bus where your IO modules are connected. Now the start stop command are defined in this. Okay, fund one, as I said, we will use it for supply. So supply, so I will drag and drop it to my supply start stop command, okay? Then I have here my return fund start stop command. So I will use fund two, okay? Now I will go to the next page. Okay, supply airflow, I have here supply airflow. So I have defined those points in my UI, okay? So supply airflow, that will be fund one airflow, okay? Now let me go to the next page. Okay, supply fan hand of auto, supply fan hand of auto, fan one hand of auto, supply fan trip, fan one trip, supply, okay, no more. Okay, now let me go back to my first page. Now let's look for the return, okay. So this is return fan hand of auto, so we will use fan two hand of auto. Return fun trip, so fun to trip. Return run status, that will be fun to run status. Okay, now, uh, okay. Almost all the points are binded for the two funds. Now I have here several uh, objects or object points that we need, we will be uh, binding later on in this tutorial or in the series of this tutorial. Okay, now let me say, so it's very important you have to save. Okay, now we will go back to our, okay, as you can see here, now, as I said, when the mouse pointer changes to pointing finger, meaning it is already binded. So when you click it, it will show you the binding points. Okay, so that one is fun hand of auto status is binded to fun one hand of auto status in my, uh, you need a uh, UI 16 IO module, okay? So here, as you can see here, now it's already binded. Now, how do you know that it is already binded? Let's try to play with the selector switch. So I'm playing with my selector switch. Okay, as you can see, when I put it in manual or off, the real time value changes to manual. Okay, let me put it back to auto. Okay, as you can see here, you can, you can also hear the clicking of the relay that we use for uh, giving the auto status to our DNS. Okay, now return fund. Okay, as you can see, it changes also to manual, okay? Now, uh, so that is the simple binding of uh, BMS points to the actual, uh, to the actual uh, points defined in your IO module. Now, uh, in this IO module, what our BMS technician will do, they will pull one uh, one cable, two core, from our IO module, from this IO module in our BDC panel, then they will pull one cable, two core, going to the uh, motor control, so going to this. So this is the hand of auto, so meaning from my IO module, in my DDC panel, they will pull one cable going to this control panel to get the uh, real-time status of this hand of auto status or the selector switch, okay? So as you can see here, I already shown you how I binded the BMS graphics points to the IO module. That IO module is getting the real-time value from the motor control. So meaning, this is how are you going to do the engineering work for a simple 
recirculating air handling unit. Now, I think this is enough for this uh, part one so that you will not be bothered by so many information. So again, you can play and replay this video so that you will be able to grasp the concept of how are you going to bind BMS points in your graphics to the IO module connected to your DDC. My DDC now is this automation server. Okay, then how are you going to get the real time values from your motor control? Okay, now uh, this information are being saved in my automation server and this server, enterprise server is the one pulling all the information uh, from this automation server and it being displayed in this uh, BMS workstation because my system is uh, server and client. Now I'm running my uh, workstation software that has a connection or live or online connection to my field or my automation server or my DDC panel, which has several IO modules. Okay. Now I think uh, I have given you again an idea. How are you going to engineer the air handling unit graphics to be connected to your uh, physical equipment for control and monitoring? Once again, uh, thank you very much for watching this uh, short video clip. And I do hope you had learned something. And if you are new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe. And you can always click the notification bell. And once again, Satis Kapilin Jr. saying, uh, God bless us all. And bye.